also be my birthday. Which makes, which is probably the reason why Hannibal's actually my favorite general, because his awesome victory happened to be on my birthday. Okay, so the basic strategy is, um, I'm going to envelop the enemy lines. What's going to happen? Um, the Romans, hopefully, will all go for my center, where I have my weaker units. They'll begin to push back my weaker units, and with luck, my weaker units will not rout. Milkiram, remember that to keep your men in line. Actually, to keep make sure they don't rout, I'll probably put my pointy unit over here. What's going to happen is, hopefully, once those guys are pushed back, then these guys will kind of be open and free on the sides. And I'm going to have my cav hiding over here in the forest. And once the enemy attacks my army here, hopefully they're far enough off where they're not attacked. And then they, um, once they attack me, I'll be able to um, use these guys to attack their flanks and then bring these guys over around at their backs and then completely encircle and surround the Roman army. This was actually used um, against a Roman army that was three times the size of Hannibal's. The only advantage that Hannibal had was his numbers of cavalry. Which is, hey, advantage I have here. Because Romans have no cav. They had some cav, actually, at the Battle of Gane, but... Um, I don't have too much cav, so this is probably a little more... Luckily accurate. I don't need to put them on loose formation. I think they actually have better aim. I think it is. They they're stronger attack. They're more concentrated attacking. If they're on um, that closer formation, I mean they have vilites, but the vilites fire will probably be all directed at my um, infantry. So let's kind of speed it up. Um. Unfortunately for Hannibal, somebody that didn't die out of the other 60,000 Romans that day was Scipio Africanus, who eventually beat him at Zama. As Carthage, I am hoping that this Hannibal strategy really works out. Ah, uh, uh, it looks like they'll probably just try to attack everywhere on my ranks, but that means they'll be more spread out, and I'll still be able to do a little bit of a hammered anvil strategy with the I with the round shield. Calvary. Kind of almost called them Iberian Cav, but I think they are Iberians, technically. I think they're from Iberia. I mean, they look exactly like Iberian infantry, just on horses. Let's keep speeding it up. I have my Valerics in the center. If I just had some Numidians, this would actually be somewhat close to Hannibal's army. Oh, come on, I'll go for the center. Nope, oh well. It would be smart, actually. Guard mode. March them forward. Give a little rally. Give a little rally. Get down to that. Send you guys right here. Actually, send the larger unit at the Vilates. Smaller unit at the Romans General. Keep them occupied. Occupied. And this is the risk in Hannibal's strategy. A complete chain route starting from the center because you have weaker units there. Come on, guys. Damn it. Well, I want to have fun with this, and I think I may have just screwed myself over. Oh, God. Well, this is a disaster. One of very few I've had so far this campaign. I'm, I'm glad I didn't have a, that many disasters so far. Come on, route, route, break. Milk Harem is holding out still, but he is very... I killed their faction. Says their faction. Yep, that's their faction leader. All right. Yep, and there goes my general. Which means no mercenaries to reinforce my army. 
However, I'll just exit the battle, pull out. Yeah. I killed 500 of them at least, and every loss to the Senate army is a good thing for me because they won't really retrain their units, as I think I said before. The Afain's army. Yeah, this is what I was thinking was going to happen. They would attack me. They have, it's a one-to-one -one battle, yet they have such a huge advantage. I don't understand. They must learn to fear the Afain's. Feel, fear, fear the Afain's. Yeah, it's not feel him. Why would they feel him? That's just kind of weird. He deserves it. me mo whatever. Um, the Iberians, or Spanish mercenaries, who are my best troops I have in this army, will be in the back. Let's try that strategy again. Yeah, let's do it. Nope, no, no, never again. Never again. <laughs> The way the AI thinks in this game, I don't think a um that kind of strategy that Hannibal would have would even remotely have a possibility of working. Remotely. Unless you're weak units that you have. Like, if I were to use these Spanish mercenaries as a center in that kind of strategy, maybe I could hold because they're good. But if I were to use those Iberians that I was thinking before, no, not a chance. Come at me, bro. Pop a war cry. I'm a little worried because I've already lost one of my generals, and that means one of my armies. And this entire plan that I have been preparing for the entire campaign so far. Ooh. Entire campaign so far. May then just go to hell. It's a possibility that I am afraid of facing. And is very likely at this point. Because of the losses that I have suffered. I mean, Theophane's army is basically just... Was at originally maybe going to be a serious threat. However, I think... Um, since the campaign has extended, it's more of a distractionary force. As much as they have been able to harass and destroy the Romans... Like Hannibal's army. In the end, they just can't be effective. They don't have the manpower and the, to be that threatening. I mean, I could very well still pull off a victory here, take out another Julia army, but this army alone will not be able to defeat and hold off the entirety of the Romans in the north. Halt. Come on, break. You guys are getting your ass kicked. There we go. Darby go. Get the charge button. Oh, man. I'm, my micro is not that good right now. Yikes. And there goes their cav. One of the more important things to kill off here would be their cav. Which they have been surprisingly doing a good job of getting advantage over me and Cav. The Julii. Those dastardly Roman. Roman folk. Dastardly Romans. Um, what about over on the, that flank, yeah, you guys go over here. Crap. Uh, every loss is deadly for me because I have all mercenaries. Sad, but it's true. Everybody I lose is, all of my men are basically worth like five Romans. If I were to get that kind of ratio of beating the Romans in every battle, I would be fine. But I can't do that every battle. I can't pull off victories like that constantly. If I could, that would be awesome. Uh, who's still fighting? Kill the damn war dogs.
Who's not routing? Oh my god. Now who's not routing? Get the Vilates. No, Hastati. Hastati are much more th deadly than Vilates. War dogs. They're a stupid unit. <laughs> I don't want to be mean to the doggies, but they are a stupid unit in this game. Yay! Uh, looks like I've had another good victory against the Romans. I have lost 24% of my army to their 80 something. Oh, right, and that was a nice victory, I will admit. I will admit I did a good job. Pay on the back, but I am still very, very frightened for Theophanes and his army. And now I'm wondering, which do I go for? Mediolium? Medium? Is that? I don't think that's the right pronunciation. Um... Or do I go for Suggesta? I'll go for... No, 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 never mind. Actually, no, they're just a bunch of weakened units that I've routed from the battle already. Oh, and then uh, Milcarium. Your forces grieve your loss. You are an idiot, though. You try to copy Hannibal. And look how it turned out for you. <laughs> um. Yeah. All right. So I'll keep these three ships here to blockade Rome, just to be pester, to be a pest. I'll sail them back to Carthage. They'll link up with more troops that I guess I can train. Here, you guys get Capua. And uh, no, Bamilcar, you stay there as a. Um, besieging them. Well, I am t somewhat tempted to end the part right now, and I think I will. Um, you know, definitely an exciting session. Just go over in review. The invasion in southern Italy.